This is why you should listen to Michael F. Florio every Thursday on The Insiders. He told you, start Justin Fields, start DJ Moore. If you did start both of them, that's Genius. 45 big ones for your fantasy team. All right, Florio, uh, this is playoff weeks for some people or final week of the regular season in certain leagues. If you only have four teams making the playoffs here, let's start out with Thursday night football with a ton of stars missing from this game. Who would you sit and start, Raiders and Chargers? I think you could still start Devontae Adams. Even in a game last week where they did not score a single point, he scored 12 fantasy points, had 10 targets. It was his fourth straight game with at least 12 fantasy points. So safe floor, and floor matters so much when we're talking about the playoffs. Plus, the Chargers are in the top five in yards, touchdowns, and fantasy points allowed to receivers. I can live with myself if I start Devontae and he doesn't dis if he disappoints a little bit. If I sit him and he goes off, I will hate myself. Uh, on the other side, I think you start Austin Eckler coming off of a big game he is a lock for double digit carries he's always good for like six or seven targets but I would not be surprised with it being Easton Stick and no Keenan Allen if he approaches double digit targets today and the Raiders are in the top six in fantasy points allowed to running backs those are the only two players I would start with confidence tonight there, there's some other deeper options but if you can get away from those I would I, I, Florio one week to the next week Last week doesn't affect anything. You've got the, the silo view, the blinders on. I like your Devontae Adams call for a team that got shut out the other day. Might have heard a little something about they're going to try to open some things up. We'll see. I agree with that. Things going to look smart. Give us some other starts for week 15 in the NFL. Hey, if you're on board, I, I feel good with that. Uh, I think you want to start all your Rams this week. Stafford, Cup, and Puka Nakua especially. Stafford, three-plus touchdowns in three straight games with 22 or more fantasy points in each of those. The Commanders have allowed the second-most fantasy points and touchdowns to quarterbacks, and they've allowed a top-10 fantasy quarterback in 11 of the 13 games they have played this season. Cooper Cup looks like Cooper Cup again. Puka Nakua is the best rookie wide receiver walking the planet. They are all must-starts this week. And then I hear this is Ian's guy, Isaiah Likely. We have seen two games with him without Mark Andrews. In the first, six targets, eight fantasy points. In the second, seven targets, 83 yards, a touchdown, and almost 20 fantasy points. That is a floor and a ceiling game. Most weeks will be somewhere in the middle, but he looks like a player that you can just start moving forward in the fantasy playoffs. God, love me some Isaiah Likely. Great call there. I do want to say, and I appreciate all your concern about my fantasy team. Um, playoffs are next week. I'm 7-7. Seven and seven. I got to win to qualify for the last spot in the playoffs, so I'm depending on you for this, so don't screw me as sometimes you do various weeks <laughs> of the season. Uh, who do you hate? Who should I sit this week? Two quarterbacks, two pretty big-name quarterbacks. I, I think Trevor Lawrence, uh, he struggled last week in a tough matchup. It was his first three-interception game since Urban Meyer was his head coach. The fantasy <laughs> numbers before that had been propped up by some rushing touchdowns, but I don't think you could count on that with him dealing with this ankle injury. The Ravens have allowed the fewest passing touchdowns. They're in the bottom four in fantasy points to quarterbacks. Again, not a must-sit, but if you have another quarterback you feel good about, I would make that swap. Same situation with Jared Goff. Uh, he is not a must-sit, but depends on your option. But he is at home where we know he plays well, but he's facing a Broncos team that since week five, no quarterback has reached 18 fantasy points against them, and they have played some studs in that span. And plus, the strength of the Lions offense is the run game. The weakness of the Broncos defense is against the run. So this is a game where I, I would not be surprised if it's a lot more Jameer Gibbs and David Montgomery than it is Jared Goff racking up fantasy points.